Hello and welcome everybody to the future. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, <laughs> it's the Enterprise, the USS Enterprise. Not the starship, the putter. This movie, also the future is also known as 2007, when this putter came out, in case anybody wants to know, future, 2007, they're synonymous. This movie, Star Trek, not movie, I guess it's lots of movies and shows, but this series of Star Trek changed the way we live our life forever. It's like they're communicators, we have that now, right? They're called, you know, smartphones, you know, and it forever changed the way we talked on our smartphones. It's like, Scotty, I need more power in my putter. It's like, I can't do it, Captain. You don't want more power. That's the best I, that's the best I can do. That's all I, that's all I got. So if you want more of that, you're not going to find it here. Let's get this interesting, interesting starship shaped putter on the review table and have a closer look. This putter is recognizable from almost any direction except maybe the face. I mean, even then, it's usually going to leave some hints. So on the sole, you can see clearly right here, USS Enterprise, which, you know, here's the registry number, NCC1701. You can see the little Star Trek emblem here, or you know, whatever, Starfleet emblem, whatever you want to call it. Golfsmith. Yep, Golfsmith. So part these out, make your own enterprise. It's interesting to note that they have these little hex screws here holding these large nacelles on. These feel like steel. So this looks like an aluminum, so if everybody wants to know how to build your own enterprise, uh, aluminum hole here, <laughs> and then we have these big steel nacelles on either side. Uh, the face is interesting. It has this uh, interesting like guilloche pattern on it, like uh, checkering sort of, with a nice, uh, pretty soft insert. And then the nacelles right here have a line. The hole has a line, nacelle has a line, nothing on the face right here, and a pretty close to center shaft input right here. Um, where, you know, and you look at this, it's face balanced. So pretty interesting design. I was reading in the comments when somebody requested this, they mentioned that the head cover for this was called in the catalog, the landing or the uh, docking bay. Is that true? Vet that for me. Can anybody verify that? Docking bay, is that what they called the head cover for this thing? That would be awesome. Anyway, you can see here what looks like a double bend shaft. Uh, stepless, I put the year right here, 2007, a year before the uh, tailor-made spider putter came out. I wonder if they took any inspiration from this thing. Probably not. Uh, this looks like some old ancient fossilized wind grip. Again, these were built by a lot of enthusiasts and built to order, so the grips will vary on the, on these. So interesting, uh, it's also interesting to note that there is a kind of a groove pattern on the aluminum on the top side, so everything just very linear. It has an interesting look, same with uh, the milling on the aluminum here on the top of the face. Not sure if that detail's gonna show up. Maybe I'll take a picture of some of those details so you can see this up close. I'll either post those here or at the end of the video. I did hit a few putts with these and uh, let's uh, show that footage. Okay, I can tell you right now, <laughs> it, it's pretty, uh, in my mind, pretty comical to be looking down at the Enterprise. These two huge warp nacelles. And, oh my goodness. All right, let's see how the face feels. It's just this plasticky stuff. Let's see how it gets on. Uh, it does sound and feel plasticky. I mean, I know a lot of like the more premium putters now have gone away from these soft faces and they're moving more towards these like Scotty Cameron style steel faces. But I mean, alignment's easy. Uh, it is heavy. It does feel, you know, dare I say it, very similar to a tailor-made spider putter. However, unfortunately, you know, the enterprise has been discontinued. Yeah, I, I don't know what to <laughs> make up. It's just fun to look down at. What can I tell you? I mean, it does feel heavy. It, it's so distracting from like putting. It's the Enterprise. Anyway, let's, uh, I wanna read your comments in the comments below. This feels like a big mallet putter because it is a heavy mallet 
putter. Distance control issues, you know, I've talked about this before. I'm not sure dynamically this is the putter I would go for. However, there's more to the story. Dandruff. What are you talking about? Exactly, exactly. You go out with dandruff, okay? And that there's, that there's always that kid. Oh my gosh, that's the worst dandruff you've ever seen in my life. Why oh, you should use head and shoulders? You're just like, kind teenager. I do not want to have this conversation right now. Beat it, right? It's an uncomfortable conversation. For some people, this is dandruff. They pull this out and all of a sudden, the world, behold, Star Trek. Is that a conversation you want to have on the golf course? There are those who were like, no, I want to focus. I'm going to get the lowest score possible. I know exactly what I'm doing. I take lessons and golf is all about getting the lowest score. Just comp competition. That's all it is. Competition against myself. It's me versus the golf ball. Lovely. We love you. We love people like you. Thank you for playing golf. But there's another segment of golfers who just want to have fun and laugh. If you pull this out, beam me up, Scotty. It's just like, ha, 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 ha. what are you talking about? Nerd, you watch Star Trek? You said beam me up, Scotty. You're the nerd, not me. You know, you always flip it on them. I love having those conversations. To me, that doesn't get old. With poker, can I review poker chips? I have some rounders poker chips. And it's funny when, <laughs> you know, there are some people who don't want to have those rounders quotes. Rounders is a movie with Matt Damon. It's about poker for those of you that haven't seen it. And so you pull out some rounders poker chips, which they still sell, by the way, at the company that actually made the chips for the rounders movie. The mold is a little different. Don't worry about it. But there are people who don't want to have a, I'm so sick of people quoting rounders at the poker table. Not me. I still love it. I think it just, it just cracks me up. I'm like, you're still going, you know, make fun of them. You know, it's fun. And then we have fun and we go banter back and forth. This is the same. This breaks us free from that grasp of like the serious golfer. I need a lower score. How do I get lower? To let's just have a laugh. Does that improve? Is this, is this going to improve my game dynamically? No, 100% not. Is it going to allow me to have more fun on the golf course? Yes, 100%. If I make, if I sink a putt with this, guess who's airplaning flying around the green with a starship? This guy. We need more of, we need more stuff. Hey, if you're in charge of the Disney Lucas licensing, somebody, we want to see a Mandalorian, not the N1 Starfighter. What's the other cool Mandalorian ship? The awesome one. We want to make a putter, make a putter that looks like that, man. Pre-Empire, putter, that, we need stuff like that on the golf course. Yeah. Where is that market? Anyway, like, reminiscent of the Happy Gilmore hockey stick putter. I've been trying to buy one of those. They're just thousands of dollars, but I want one. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about the USS Enterprise putter, not Starship, or the Starship in the comments below. I might make fun of you if you start quoting Star Trek in the comments below. I watched some of it, but I'm not like a well-versed nerd. Some of my friends can really like let me have it like I don't know that much about Star Trek. I watched Next Generation for a little bit. I watched a few episodes growing up. My dad liked watching the old um, James T. Kirk, William Shatner version, which we all kids were always like, eh, we don't want to watch this. So yeah, it's a fun, fun time. Excited to read your comments. As usual, thank you to my patrons. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. It keeps this channel alive, keeps me going. I think it, it, it means a lot to me, like the financial help, but it also means, I think, more to me, the emotional support and backing, knowing that there are people that support me. Another way to support this channel is visiting my Amazon shop. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe. I am The Vintage Golfer.